Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I've got a package to open. I am really pumped for this one. So, you can tell by the title this is about Redeemed Creations Co. And Jonathan, over at Redeemed Creations Co., made me this wallet a while back. I've got some videos about this wallet, and I still, to this day, carry it every day and sincerely love this wallet. It is my favorite wallet I've ever owned. I carry front, right pocket, and this wallet is just perfect for that, and I have adored it. So, I talk to Jonathan now and then, he's become kind of a buddy. We DM back and forth sometimes, and just talk knives and gear in general, and um, he's a really, really cool dude. And so the other day, I happened to notice that somebody, he shared a story that somebody had shared of an Apple Watch strap that he made for him, and I was like, <laughs> I immediately responded to it and was just like, is this something that you make now? Because I have been wanting to get a good leather Apple Watch strap for a while. And there's been a few options that have stuck out to me, but I've just never pulled the trigger on one. And with how much I like that wallet and all of the work of his that I've seen, it was like, if you'll make one, I will buy one. And so he mentioned that he was thinking about making it a thing on the site. I think now he's planning on doing that. Um, if not, he probably will now, because I imagine some people are going to see this one and ask him about him. Um, but yeah, I think it's an object that he is adding to the site as one of his typical offerings moving forward, and I'm really pumped that I had him make me one. So I have one of those in here, and then I also have a knife, because we did a trade. I traded him my Spyderco Yojimbo 2. That was my longest owned Spyderco, um, but I just felt like it wasn't getting carried all that much lately. I wanted to try something else, and <laughs> he let me know that there is a surprise in here and now I see what it is and I am pumped. So let's get to it. First and foremost, let's check out this watch strap because that's, I don't know what I'm most excited about actually, but I'm really excited for this watch strap. Looks like there's some extra little screws. I'm not positive what those are for, maybe for these clasps in case, like that's cool. Um, anyway, he sends it in this little, little pouch thing and it was really cool. He let me choose the leather that I wanted, the thread color that I wanted, and even I had him do the like keeper strap in OD green. So it's tan leather with an OD green keeper strap and then this like really dark green stitching. And I think it looks freaking sweet. <laughs> he was sending me pictures of it um, when he had it finished before it went in the mail and I just, I'm so ridiculously stoked about this. So I'm going to throw this right onto my watch in a minute. Um, I'll show you it installed in a subsequent video because this is just an, unbox an unboxing. But this is my new watch strap and it looks freaking sweet. And there's probably going to be some pictures on my Instagram of it as well. Now the surprise that he put in here I am seeing now is one of his EDC dump trays which I've been tempted to get before. I think this might be his new tan one. I'm not the best at knowing leather materials, but it's pretty cool. So it's essentially this like plate of leather and then you snap these corners together and it turns into a tray. What's cool about it snapping closed and not being like sewn shut is that when you're like traveling with it and you can throw it in a bag, it's flat, but now it is a dump tray. So I can put my watch in here when it's got the new strap on it. I can throw my knife on there. I can do all kinds of cool stuff with this in terms of laying out my gear. So I am really excited for this. This is really well made. I love, I don't know, the, the leather he sources is all such good material. It's like nice and thick and has the, the cool natural wear tendencies to it. I don't know, rad stuff. So, dump tray, Apple Watch strap, and then, oh, sticker as well. And there's my invoice. And in here should be the knife. So let's see. Got a bunch of knives sitting next to me, so why not open it with a different one? <laughs> um, this is a knife that I actually owned in the past, well before I started my YouTube channel. I had one of these that actually my brother bought and then I traded him something for it. 
Um, and it was just something that always stuck out to me as looking cool, and it's a front flipper, but it is a Kaiser. You probably saw in the description anyways. I don't know why I'm being weird and like hinting at it, but it is the Kaiser Feist, and this one specifically is the Reverse Tanto, or the Warncliffe, I don't know what they call it. Um, it's designed by Justin Lundquist. It's a little front flipper that to me is like a great secondary carry size, and it's kind of gentlemanly in the way it looks. Just a really, really cool, kind of simplistic, but very well done little front flipper. And I'm not the kind of guy who like, I don't feel like I need to own a bunch of front flippers, but I like having one around. They're just fun to play with, and if you know me, you know I enjoy fidgeting with knives, and so I have a good time fidgeting with front flippers. And this one in particular is done really well. I already know that from the last one that I had. It's got a great rounded spine. It's S35VN, um, which for a little guy like this, I feel like is a good steel choice. I don't know. It's just a really well done, fun little knife. And it's just big enough that I can get a full four fingers on it. And it's actually quite usable as a secondary EDC knife for me. Back pocket carry. This makes a lot of sense. And I love how small it is. And it's just, it's... There's something about playing with a front flipper. It's a lot of fun. So I now have a front flipper in the collection again. I've got a couple knives right now that will front flip, like the Shaman you can kind of front flip, but this is a front flipper. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm glad to have it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Anyway, so I guess that's everything. I've got the knife, the dump tray, and the Apple watch strap. So. Got all this new stuff. Huge thank you to Jonathan. He's super generous for tossing in this dump tray. Um, yeah, just, I feel like I should take a second. So Jonathan A, with my wallet, he sent it to me just to review and to check out. I had never experienced any of his work before. Um, we were both in a Facebook group together and I don't think we'd even really like interacted that much, but he was just a super cool dude and reached out generously uh, asking if I'd review a wallet and he'd send it to me and I said, yep. <laughs> and I'm uh, super glad that I did because it's really, really nice. And then not only has he just consistently been like very kind and generous to me, but he recently did a really amazing charity raffle for a kid in the community who's battling cancer and was able to raise like a significant sum of money with the help of some other sponsors, but Jonathan's the one who facilitated that whole thing and made it happen, and, um, and he just continues to be generous. Like, he did not need to throw in this EDC dump tray for me, but I don't even have any kind of dump tray, and I've thought about getting one a few times, and I'm stoked, and I will use this, and I will appreciate it, and it just, it means more, too, coming from somebody who, at this point, I consider a buddy, um, and the EDC community is a cool thing in that way. I wish that he also lived in Southern California, because I'd like to hang out with the guy. Like, he's genuinely just a rad dude. So, thank you so much, Jonathan. I appreciate it. I am, as soon as the camera turns off, going to throw this onto my watch and start rocking it because it looks ridiculously awesome. Plus he has a great logo. That just nice simple little tree. I think that's pretty sweet. So I'll probably do a review on this. I might do a review on the dump tray simultaneously. We'll see how it pans out when I when I do that, but I'll at least do a review on this, um, especially now that he's going to be offering it for just about anybody who wants them. I think some people would probably appreciate seeing a, a, an honest take on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and review this once I've had it on and worn it for, I don't know, a week or so. And uh, I'll also be reviewing the knife because I review knives, that's what I do. So <laughs> this Kaiser Feist, it's gonna get reviewed as well. Hopefully you guys are excited for that because I uh, this is probably the Kaiser that most interests me. Currently. There might be some sleepers that I'm not really aware of, but Kaiser's not a brand that I'm usually like all that excited by, but I really like these little knives. These are a lot of fun. So more to come on this, the watch and the tray, all of it. <laughs> Thanks so much to Jonathan. I appreciate you, buddy. And uh, there's going to be links down below to Jonathan's Instagram as well as his website. I'll put a link. If it's up, I'll put a link to the watch strap. I don't know if it will be when I put this video live, so I might just put a link to his site. Um, but he makes a lot of cool stuff. Several different styles of wallets, several different sizes of dump trays, 
Um, what else? He's got like keychain things. He's got a whole bunch of stuff, and his leather work is fantastic, like the best. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will check in with you very soon, I am sure, and uh, we'll see you then.